so you know the, the idea that you can just buy these things you know while it, it, it's pleasant you know and it's very American it's very capitalist to think that you can just buy your way into something uh, you know, that, that requires hard work it, it can also harm people and uh, it also harms the rest of us who have been doing this work particularly since you know with the popularization of, of the idea of the witch you know, the people who are buying these kits are not going to be the ones who have to deal with a theocratic fascist regime who uh, later on wants to hunt yeah. down anybody who is a witch. The, the witch is scary. The witch is powerful. And part of the reason the witch has always been powerful, as I said before, is because the witch has been feared. But, you know, it is also the fear of the the witch that has historically caused the church and the state and whatever authority is in authority to hunt the witch. And, you know, Sephora is not marketing to the pagan community. Sephora is marketing to mainstream America. And mainstream America very much, very well might just pick it up and, and, and sap it all. I mean, this is theoretically because the Sephora witch kit has actually since been canceled due to outrage. Although I don't think that it was outrage from the pagan community as much as it was probably outrage from the Christian community. Mm -hmm. But that's also part of my point because, you know, it's, it's you know, Becky soccer mom who might be buying the witch kit, but it's it's not Becky soccer mom who, if you Google her name, it comes up that she's a witch. Even though so much of this capitalist marketing of witchcraft is not aimed at what we would consider the pagan community at all, the bottom line is is you know it's the pagan community whose asses are going to be on the line if and when there is any kind of backlash. We have to remember that you know it's the same political climate that is causing women to feel so disempowered that they, they want to reclaim their power to become witches. That's also the same political climate where eventually, you know, witches are going to be next on the list of people who are hunted down and whose names are taken. Right. And when that happens, it's not Becky the soccer mom who, who needs to worry. It's, it's people like Reed and I and anyone who has ever been public, whether either under our real name or under a pseudonym, because in the world of Google, anyone can figure out who you are immediately. It, it's those people who very well may be in danger, especially if this witchcraft trend thing becomes big enough that the, the other side, I mean, you know, I, I, again, it's, it's the same political conditions that are, are terrifying people and wanting to reclaim power that are also putting us on the edge of like a fundamentalist Christian theocratical takeover. All these folks are, are hexing Trump to get him impeached. Well, you know what? If Trump's impeached, who's in charge? Mike Pence. Okay? <laughs> and, and I don't want to be a public witch in a country where Mike Pence is president because Trump, for, for all his flaws, Trump doesn't actually believe what he says in terms of, of like fundamentalist Christian beliefs. Mike Pence is a real believer, guys. The argument about whether he's better than Trump or worse than Trump, that, that's irrelevant here. But, but, but he is a true believer, and he absolutely wants to instill a, a Christian theocracy. And, and under that Christian theocracy, people who, who have Llewellyn book contracts, people who publicly have taught as witches, people who have been even within just the small pagan community on the radar for decades now, they are the ones who are going to be the first in danger, not people who have bought the Sephora witch kit. Yeah, Mike Pence believes in witchcraft as much as we do. You know, uh, Trump exactly. doesn't believe in it. Trump, Trump laughed at the idea of, of, of being, of being hexed. hexed. Empires crumble. A podcast on politics, culture, history, and magic. With Ali Walker and Reed Wilmerth.